Welcome everyone. I'm very excited to introduce you to a new series that I've been working on. In this series I'll be taking race replays from you the viewer and breaking them down piece by piece. Looking at how you could have improved your race or looking into specific aspects of that particular race. This isn't a completely original idea, I've seen it done before with games like CSGO and Overwatch, but I've not seen anyone doing it for racing and I think it could have a lot of potential. If you'd like to submit a replay of your own, I'll be talking about exactly how to do that at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around. But that's enough intro for now, let's roll the video. Okay, so let's get into the replay then, and this first replay has been uh, sent in by Cheddarman1, good friend of mine, he's volunteered to have his uh, his video on here first, so we're going to be looking at his video, and it's in the um, Daihatsu Kopen, which is the Vision Gran Turismo cars, and we're at Alsace here. Now, the main kind of topic for this is going to be basically just like the battles that he has, so, you know, good, good car positioning and things like that, but we'll kind of cover a little bit of everything, and uh, we'll just see how it goes for this first time around. So, first turn then, this is always a good place to pick up some, some places if you can do it nice and cleanly and you can see the two guys in front of him have a little bit of a collision and he's actually going to come out pretty nicely there with 5th uh, position starting in 6th and a good run on 4th as well. A little bit of contact there which is pretty unfortunate and as we come down into this corner here he's going to get a bump just slightly from the back and what that's going to cause is he's going to be real close onto the bumper of Neo Sonic here if we go back one position you can kind of see it a bit easier so you can see how close he is right there so he got bumped slightly by Night Drifter that put him right onto the bumper of Neo Sonic the problem with being in this position here is that it's going to be very difficult to uh, have a good exit speed because if you uh, had some sort of advantage over Neo Sonic, you're going to be so close behind him that you're not going to be able to actually use that because you'll just be stuck behind him. And if we play the clip, you'll actually see he's he's unable. You can see Neo Sonic's flashing his brakes and uh, slowing down, but Cheddar Man can't actually get through. Okay, so this next bit here is quite important as well. So what we can see here is Neo Sonic starting a line fairly wide to the right and Cheddar Man cutting this one down the inside. So if you're in a group three car, uh, a common or a group four car, a common line for this is is starting out wide here, and then having a line that comes in for a late apex, or fairly late apex because it's a very long left hander, and then you just hug that inside and finish wide. Okay, but those cars are much faster than these. So with these cars, you actually don't need to take a wide line there. So Cheddar Man's line down the inside is fine. You might lose a little bit of speed just with uh, the tires sort of uh, scrubbing on the floor. But Neo Sonic has gone for a kind of a middle line. So he started, you know, in the middle here, and he's gonna end up from there, aiming towards a slightly later apex, and then holding that left-hand line. So the problem which we've got here now is that Cheddar Man's got a little bit more speed than Neo Sonic. He's gonna be aiming to go down the inside here. So as you can see, we're gonna have an, a situation here whereby they both can't go this way. Now. At this point in time, there's not really an overlap between the cars, so Cheddar Man is slightly behind Neo Sonic. Um, and as Neo Sonic comes around the corner, uh, he's going to basically be cut off and, and pushed into this zone here. So, uh, in this situation, really, your best bet is just to let off, unless Neo Sonic really does end up kind of coming out, out wide. You know, if Neo Sonic's line ends up coming out here for some reason, then you can take that inside line. But if not, then your best bet is just to let off and join in behind and then just uh, carry on through the corner that way. As you can see, a little bit of contact. Cheddar Man does get the position, but that's not a clean move. So really, we don't want to be, uh, we want to be avoiding that as much as possible. Okay, so first little warning signs here for Cheddar Man. This is, um, he's got a bit of a gap now between himself and Night Drifter, but he's slowly catching up with third position. Uh, this situation here is, I've just paused it here, so he's taking a different line to the guys out in front of him. So the guys in front were starting their turn in out from the right hand side, and then they're having a late, a fairly late apex heading up the hill to the left. As you come up the hill, you're always going to understeer wide, but the later you turn in here and still maintain the apex right there, 
the later you know the later you can hold that line the better because it means you can really full throttle up the hill and because it is a steep hill you really want as much speed as you can through that bit okay so cheddar man's line he's going to start his turn in in this zone here so there's quite a big gap from there to the outside of the of the, the road so he's lost a little bit of ground so his apex is going to be much earlier on okay he's going to hit the apex about there and then the only way that he's going to be able to maintain the car within the track limits is by letting off the throttle so basically what he needs to be looking at here is the guys in front like these guys here are taking a much wider line and you'll see as soon as he comes out of this corner that he loses some time on those so he should be looking at that and thinking right next lap I need to be out wide, taking that as a late apex. As we play the clip through, you can see he has to let off the throttle there, up the hill. Not too bad, still a fairly nicely cleanly taken corner, but you can see he has lost a little bit of time on third place as they head down the hill. Coming down the hill now then, this is where we're going to lose a little bit more time. So this is going to be a similar situation to the last corner again. So the cars in front of him starting their turn in out on the wide here fairly late apex and then avoiding the wall on the other side of the chicane. Cheddar Man starting his turn in in this area here and then again turning in and hitting an earlier apex that's going to leave him with a bit less speed or a much harder time avoiding the wall on the far side. So if we just play it a little bit further you'll see he actually misses the apex slightly and at this point if I come out of the navigation and you can see down here he's already accelerating and having missed I mean his his cars you know a good a good what's that two three meters off the apex there he's already on the gas and you can see the direction his car is pointing is is that way and realistically at this point you need to be pointing that way so that you can keep it inside this uh, this barrier here okay and because we've got a nice long straight going down there you really want to maximize your straight line speed on this part. So where possible, you don't want to have to be letting off the throttle in this zone here. You want to be full throttle all the way out of this corner. So as we play this through, you'll see he has to come off the throttle a little bit, still hits the wall, that pushes him wide into the grass and he's lost heaps of time. And if we look behind, you'll see that Mantarobi is catching right back up with him. Okay, so lap two, and this is where the battling starts to get a little bit more intense. So Mantarobi is now approaching on the right-hand side of Cheddar Man. He's got a pretty good run. Cheddar Man's still just about maybe you can see his car there on the right-hand side. So as we come into this corner here, this is a very important corner because of the banking on it. You can actually come around this pretty fast. So what we're looking at here is Cheddar Man should know at this point, I don't know which view he's using, but if you're using the radar and if you're sort of being aware of your surroundings, he should know that he's got a car on his right hand side, fairly close behind, who's going to be looking at breaking down into this corner here. He knows he's on the right hand side there, so that's the kind of angle he's going to be looking at. So from that point there, it's going to be hard braking and you're going to be slow at this point here. You're going to be very slow in this apex. So what Cheddar Man needs to try to aim to do is potentially break slightly wider than you would normally but nice and early so you can come off the brakes and turn in for a late apex with a really good exit speed and he's going to exit all the way out to the right hand side staying on the right hand side of the track with a great exit speed and he should be able to basically make a cutback so he'll allow Mantarobi down the inside and then make a cutback move on him. What we're actually going to see is a very late break from Cheddar Man which is basically going to leave the door wide open and you can already see here Mantarobi in the bottom right is taken an inside line he has got a pretty slow exit but because Cheddar Man broke quite late his exit's not great that basically leaves the door wide open here for Mantarobi to uh, to come in and take the position. Okay, so our next little opportunity here for Cheddar Man is breaking into the heavy braking zone, tight right hand uh, hairpin as we come here down this sort of back straight. So this is a, actually a really tricky situation to, to get right because you've got this left hander here which is not sharp enough that you need to brake for it but if you don't brake 
until after it, you're going to be very late breaking into the tight right-hander just after it. So the situation that Cheddarman has found himself in is he's got Mantarobi just on his right, who's going to be coming in a bit wider than him. It's unlikely that he's going to go and cut him up. So that's uh, a line from Mantarobi. Cheddarman's got the inside line here, which is potentially a good line to have because if you've got the left-hand line here, it means you can really get a good exit from wide on the left on the chicane, on the hairpin coming up. Okay, so the best thing I think for, for Cheddarman to do here is dab the brakes just slightly as you're coming before this corner. So dab the brakes in here, then you're gonna come off the brakes just slightly through here. So you're just gonna brake and then release the brake and roll through there, and then you're gonna have a second braking zone all the way in into the uh, into the tight right hander. Okay, so what that's gonna allow you as you brake in this space here, in the first space, you're going to be able to slow the car enough that you can stay far to the left, and it also means that you're unlikely to um, come understeer wide this way and then have a collision with Mantarobi. As you come into the right-hander, you can then get a nice good exit. Just fast-forwarding it slightly, you can see that because I think Cheddarman was aware that Mantarobi here was was coming in on his right. He didn't want to um, he didn't want to break here because he wanted to get ahead of him, you know, get out here so that he could be in front and avoid any sort of collision or or incident here. Had he braked earlier, had he braked, you know, a bit further back there, he could have slowed the car a bit, really hugged this corner round to the left, and then broken again for a, a cut back at the. Um, at the chicane here, okay? However, because he's still not broken, and you can see Mantarobi's already on the brakes, um, he's he's going to end up basically flying really deep into this uh, into this tight right-hander, and that's not a good position to be in because you're going to have a very, very slow exit coming out the back of that one. So as we see, we'll watch it in full speed here. He's not going to break. Breaks very late. Mantarobi's going to break a bit earlier. Cheddarman's going to go very deep into the corner and Mantarobi is going to come on through. And I just want to show you that from the other point of view. So if we go back here and watch Mantarobi here. So if you watch it from this guy's point of view, he's going to break at a pretty good place. But actually what you'll see is that it was even a bit late himself. And he's going to start coming out wide. So he's already left a bit of a gap here. And his car is going to basically just drift out to about the middle of the track. So as I said, if we if we go back a little bit there. Okay, so having just reversed here, so we know that Mantarobi, he's going to miss the apex slightly and then end up in the middle of the track coming around the corner here. Okay, so if our hero Cheddarman 1 had done the braking zones that we talked about, broke, released, and then broke out here. That's oh, a little bit a little bit wide. Broke on a, in a straight line down this left hand side nice and wide and then started a late turn in here he would have actually cut up the inside of uh, our man Mantarobi who was running a little bit wide and not only would he have been able to come in through the inside there but he would have had a much better exit speed because he would have been accelerating probably from this point here so he would have got on the gas much earlier than Mantarobi there was a gap down the inside and then he would have accelerated up the hill to the right much faster than Mantarobi and made that position fairly easily there. So sometimes it's better to be a little bit more conservative on the corner entry so you can get a really good corner exit. And just to note here, we're looking again, Cheddar Man not using the full width of the track, so he wasn't really learning from his first uh, first lap experience. He's still getting the corner smoothly, which is good, but he could be coming through that even faster. Doesn't need to be letting off the throttle there as much as he is. So this is an interesting little move that we're going to watch now. So Mantarobi's going to take this nice and tight down the right-hand side in here, and Cheddar Man is actually going to break later and come round the outside, and he carries a lot more speed than Mantarobi. Now what's interesting here is this is one of these situations where you have to decide, are you going for lap times, or are you going for positions? So if you're going for lap times, you definitely want to be 
breaking nice and early in this sort of zone here and then taking the corner pretty tight so you can get out to the right hand side of the track and then a nice apex for the exit of the next tight left hander and the little chicane there however as we're going to see here if you break later you can still make this corner quite easily with a lot more speed end up wide here and you're going to have a slow a slow exit from the chicane coming up however you're going to carry more speed in the upper section of this and potentially overtake anyone who's going for the slower early braking down the inside so let's just watch that transpire you can see cheddar man is going to come up the outside there and now we've got a very interesting situation so he's not got quite as much speed as um on the next exit as Mantarobi will have however he has got track position or he will have in a second so this is again a situation where you've you've gone for track position you should just go for the hold now so we know that um the line here for Mantarobi is out on the wide and hit the apex here so what cheddar man needs to do is with his extra speed basically block off this whole area so we know that cheddar man is not going to get anywhere near the same exit speed as Mantarobi just based on his really tight line uh, coming into this apex but he's got a bit of speed here he's going to reach the apex quicker so what Cheddar Man needs to do is put his car into this line okay and that's basically going to force Mantarobi to lift off the throttle because there's no way he's going to be able to get round the outside like Mantarobi's not going to get here and then come out the outside because that's just going to lose him loads of time so he's going to come in here and then basically just have to let off the throttle at this point so that he doesn't end up just crashing into Cheddar Man and that's actually probably just going to slow him down even more. So Cheddar Man needs to put his car into this position and just exit in a way out here that's basically going to force Mantarobi to be tucked in behind him. It's not going to be a great exit speed but it is going to maintain him the position. As we can see Cheddar Man breaks a little bit too late, runs wide, and that basically opens up the inside line, which is the one that Mantarobi wants to take. He's going to then come and get a good exit speed. There's no way that Cheddar Man is going to be able to maintain the same sort of speed, and Mantarobi is going to take the position. So it's just one of those where you want to just maintain, maintain the track position and basically just block off your opponent's line. Okay, so we're coming up to this banked tight right-hander again, and we're basically just going to see Cheddar Man braking much too late again. So we need to be braking early, and your braking zone probably finishes around here, and then you're going to turn in, hit the apex nicely, and you should be on the gas really early, you know, from here, and you can just use the banking of the turn to get a really nice, good exit out to the right. But Cheddar Man is braking much too late here, his car is basically running onto the outside of the banking. He's losing the effect of that nice bank turn. And you can see he's actually going to almost concede two positions there. So now we're in a similar situation to before. So this Mantarobi is taking a slightly wider line out here. Cheddar Man's actually got a little bit of overlap this time. And he's taking a line down the inside. So really important, very, you know, very close racing. You've just got to maintain and make, keep your line. Mantrobe doesn't give him much space, but there is just enough space. And you'll actually notice just earlier that, okay, fair enough. Mantrobe probably squeezed him a little bit, but there was just enough room for Cheddar Man. And he didn't quite hold the line. He probably needed to let off the throttle a little bit. And there was a slight nudge between the two cars, which is now forcing Mantarobi just slightly wide. So he's probably just feeling a little bit pissed. And you're going to see that that, might have just antagonized him a little bit here again another slight bump and Mant mantarobi's gone back near sonic's coming up for the move heavy braking zone and cheddar man's going to get absolutely launched off and i mean i think it's pretty it's pretty clear that this was deliberate i mean maybe the guy just missed his braking marker but we're going to see as we come around this left hand, you can you can see uh, cheddar man just makes a few bits of contact there that's probably frustrated mantarobi he knows there's a tight braking area coming up and he's just going to go, uh, basically he just doesn't brake and uh, sends Cheddar Man flying off the track. Now I'm not saying in any way that that was deserved because of the little bit of contact earlier. However, it is sort of, you know, you should always be aware that, um, you know, 
if you bump someone, they they might well get pissed. So by no means was that deserved, but it's it's a good reason, you know, why you should try and drive cleanly because it means the other drivers might be less inclined to uh, to send you to your doom on the edge of the track. That puts Cheddar Man down to seventh place, unfortunately, and he is going to end the race in seventh place if we skip ahead to the end. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed that review. Once again, thanks to my friend Cheddarman who gave me the idea for this series and provided the replay. Remember, he submitted his race because he was keen for some advice and so it might also go to help others out there, so please be respectful of that. Having said that, if you're interested in getting some feedback on a race of yours, or you have a race and you're not sure what you could have been doing better, please do send it in. Here's what you need to do. First off, make sure to hit save replay at the end of your race. Then you can find it in your library. Press triangle and go to share. In here, and this is the most important thing, you need to put oink83 in the tag section. It's really important that it's spelled just like that because that's the only way I'll be able to find it. The title can be whatever you want, but in the description what would be really helpful would be to put a short summary of what you are having trouble with or what you want advice on it could be something to do with racing lines, battling with other cars, or advice on the car and track combo. But whatever it is, it would definitely help to make the video more informative if I have an idea of what you want advice on. Then I can periodically search through all the submitted replays to find ones that I think will work well. I can't guarantee that I'll use them all, but you're welcome to send me a message letting me know if you've shared one, and I'll definitely take a look. Please remember, it's not about showing off any races where you just clearly win and have no problems. That's not going to end up in the video. And equally, races with people clearly not trying to race cleanly will not be used. Perhaps it's that you're having trouble racing cleanly, but you're only just starting out, that's fine. But I want to see that at least you're attempting to race respectfully. So that's all for now. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new series, and I look forward to seeing some more race replays.